Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to my camera comparison between the iPhone 5S and the Sony Xperia Z2. So the Xperia Z2 was just released quite recently and of course the iPhone 5S was released last year in September. So in this video, I will be comparing these two phone cameras, the front and the back facing cameras. The Xperia Z2 features a 20.7 megapixel sensor with the Sony G lens, which is 27 millimeters wide and can open up to f2.0 aperture. By the way, the Xperia has a dedicated shutter button, which makes it much easier and faster to snap photos. On the other hand, the iPhone 5S features an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture. So here are some of the pictures I took using these two devices. And you can be the judge yourself. You can see which one you like the most, which one you prefer. And be sure to let me know in the comments. For the front facing camera, the iPhone 5S can take 1.3 megapixel stills and can shoot 720p HD videos. For the Sony front facing camera, you can take 2.2 megapixel images and also record 1080p HD videos. Alright, so this is the iPhone 5S front facing camera. Seems like that this has a bit more exposure, a bit more brightness. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Alright, so here's a video and audio test of the Sony Xperia Z2. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the audio and the video. On both devices, you're able to take really nice looking panoramic pictures. Alright, so now let's move on to some videos. Of course, both devices can record 1080p HD videos at 30 frames per second. On the Sony Xperia, you're able to record 4K videos, which is at 2160p. So here's a quick 4K video footage. If you don't know yet, the Sony Xperia is actually waterproof. So you can record underwater videos. And be sure to check out my waterproof test video of this device. I'll put the link to that video in the description. A very nice feature on the Xperia is that you can do background defocus. It's very similar to the feature that you find on the HTC One M8. Basically, the subject is going to be in focus and the background is going to be out of focus and it's going to be blurred out. And also, you can record 720p HD 120 frames per second slow motion videos on both devices. So they're very similar. So this concludes my camera comparison between these two devices. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's try to reach maybe 1000 likes on this video. So be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future tech videos. And I'll see you in my next video.